What's up, YouTube? DJ Danny Boy back here with another video. Just got my new mixer. It's the Vestax PMC 05 Pro 4, the black version. And they told me in the store that I was the first one to get this, so I'm pretty excited to open this right now. Do a quick unboxing video. First thing we got, this is the owner's manual that it comes with. That's an extra piece for the back. Alright. Right here you got your power supply. This one comes with an external power supply, not my favorite thing, but definitely not a deal breaker. Um, wow. This thing is pretty sick. That's first impression of it right there. Um, coming around the back of the mixer, we got two XLR outputs, the Master. We got two booth outputs, which also have a separate volume control right here, so you can totally use that for recording. Um, also, you have an auxiliary. If you hook up something else, you can change the volume on that. Take a look at the inputs on this mixer. We got one phono and one line input on program two, and one line input on one phono input on program one. And then right next to that, you also have separate line of phono inputs, which you can change by uh, flipping that switch on the front, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says line, phono, and you just push that down if you want to change to the external ones if you don't want to stay in program one and program two. Um, down here is where you would hook up your effects box. And also, like I said, these are the volumes for the effects to send and return. Um, here you got your mic, and here's the MIDI. This is the USB. It actually came with a USB. I don't know where I put it, but that's a USB to hook up right to your laptop from there. So you can get the MIDI hooked up on this thing. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the front of the mixer right here. Um, first thing, we got our line faders right here. They feel really good, really smooth. Um, cross faded and cross faded they put on feels awesome for scratching. It feels really nice, so really, really smooth, like effortless when you push it back and forth. Um, also, the line faders are MIDI and so is the cross fader. So anybody that does uh, uses DSL or any type of video scratch software, I mean, that's going to be great because you can just switch, uh, you could fade in from left to the right. So the, yeah, that's MIDI, the cross fader, and both the line faders are MIDI. Um, we also got the MIDI bank up here. We got six MIDI buttons on the left and six MIDI buttons on the right. We also got um, this this knob and it says uh, scroll through crates. So it's definitely um, probably banked towards Serato, honestly, just to scroll through your crates like that. I don't know if you can control effects like this. Maybe you can use that as like a like an effect return or something, but um, I'll do a video on that. You also can push down so you can use that as MIDI. Um, we got big transformer switches here. I don't know if you guys use those for scratching, but those are good. Um, we got uh, right here, we got your send and return for your effects if you have like an external effects box. Um, here we got the headphones. Um, this is the volume right here. It's pretty good. And uh, this is the switch from left to right channel. This is your, this is your headphones. Um, off top, we got three, three band EQ, uh, full kill on all of these. You got your individual gain to the top. Um, we got a master, which a master gain. We got a booth gain and an auxiliary gain. So you got three separate things right there. Um, going over here, this is for your mic. We got all your mic. You got your low, your high, your mid. So that's three band for the mic also. And then we got the level up top. Um, we you know take a look at the front now of the mixer. On the front, off the camera. Okay, the front right here, I don't know if you guys can see these little switches right there. Those are for your sensitivity of the crossfader, so you can make those more sensitive or less sensitive by turning them left and right. Um, you got your crossfader curve, which is the big one right here. Sorry, my camera is not zoomed in good. Anyway, yeah, this is the uh, the crossfader cut curve, and these are both the line cut curves, so you can make you can mess with those. Also got line reverse, which are these switches, and the crossfader reverse in case you use those for scratching too. And you got line reverse. Um, all the way to the right, we got your headphones. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not really... All right, that's better, yeah. So you got your, uh, your headphones, and you got an eighth-inch plug right there, and you got the quarter-inch up there, so you can just use both. You don't need an adapter for the quarter-inch anymore. You can just use right in there. So, yeah, that's the new Vestax PMC-05 Pro 4. Um, I'm going to get this thing hooked up. I'm going to do a little live show. It really looks awesome out of the box. So let's see what we got.